we're drawing near Hey, you, did you just leave the building? Uh, you, you literally just saw me just do that. And he just do that. What's this? Everyone, we must celebrate. Please be at ease. I'm Grail, the patriarch of this village. All of us here are the same as you. We are all brood, Master Ryu. Oh, whoa! Do not be alarmed, Guardian. We gave up our powers and fled here during the Great War. So, as not to be found by us Guardians? <laughs> exactly. All in preparation for this moment. This moment? What do you mean? You will know soon enough. But for now, please rest, deities. No dragon prince and noble companions. Please eat this. This the meat will restore the strength sapped by the desert's heat. Uh, we, we didn't we didn't go through a desert. Did I? We have been waiting your coming, were you Prince of Dragons? It has been foretold for many generations. They said something about desert, but we haven't even seen the desert yet. After our defeat by our enemies, they tried to wipe us from the face of the earth to survive our people either had to give up their power like we either had, or bury themselves deep, deep underground. My brother who hid underground. Many of them entered a deep sleep after conceiving the child. I slept to await the day, the wake time when one day the brood might walk the earth again. And now that day has arrived. The prince is soon to awaken. We really have come here. To the forgotten city of the Brood Dragon here. Call it destiny if you will. We can tell you where to find what it is you're seeking. Where to find your foe, the goddess Miria. Am I a dream? For you, you must awaken to your true power. And then, you must face the goddess. Are you, are you awake? For you. Fell asleep after the banquet. And if you're looking for your companions, they're all outside. Must have been a really difficult journey. Uh, I didn't come by the desert, so, um. Hmm. Hopefully, I didn't break anything, I guess. I, I don't think the dragon here was before or after the desert, though. I think uh, the desert was after Dragonair because that's when they tell me how to get to Miria. But who's awake? Brood are pretty amazing. Who would have thought they were still alive? Living, a forsaken place, living in a forsaken place like this. I wonder how Garfield's right about now. I mean, being in a city surrounded by people who used to be his enemies? He's over there looking depressed. Let's go try to cheer him up. The ancient legends tell us that our saviors will come to us walking on path of light. And now you have come. That's creepy. You see, like, the, the, the cockroaches in this game are like cockroaches in Florida. Huge. Smack you in the face. No. I'm never going outside again. <laughs> At night. <laughs> Even in, in, in my neighborhood currently, I don't have to worry about any of that. Thank God. But, like, the country? No. Fuck that. Never again. No. America's Australia, yeah, everything is like fucking monstrously huge or death deadly. But nah. I'm never gonna give it a gun to country again. Down here. Because most of the country is fucking overgrown everything. I can deal with snakes, I can deal with rats, I can deal with mice, I can deal with a lot. I can't deal 
we're flying cockroaches. Even if they have forgotten the war, I am still the sworn enemy of every person in this village. All the people here are suspicious of the fact that you, Ryu, have brought me here with you. I've come with you on this trip because I have lost my faith and have come to doubt my own actions so long ago. But I know that it's not a good enough reason for all the men and women of this village to trust me. The war has not ended in the hearts and minds of these people. Well, maybe so, Gar. But well, what are you getting all gloomy about? Okay, so maybe. People here want Ryu to take his power and go teach your god a thing or two. And maybe it's not so realistic to think we can drop in on God and ask about the truth. But still, you know who told us to tag along if we want to answer to our questions. You know what? You just plain think too much, you know? Anyway, it doesn't matter what the villagers here think. What's important is what Ryu thinks. Am I wrong? The Badlands. Like Black Hills in the Midlands, rattlesnakes and fairy dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Ryu, the Elder wishes to meet with you. He is the eldest of us all. Of all the brood, he remembers the Great War. Or only he remembers the Great War. Go to the well in the village center. The Elder awaits you inside on the ground. Oh, I'm gonna muscle my way through here. Get out of here, old man. Oh no, I'm too muscly. I have to go around. Hey, right. it's probably not anything bad. I just wants to talk talk to us. Barely remembers your name besides Great War, UTSC, and Dimension, and Nasty Combo. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Oh, here's the mural from the uh, beginning of the game. Oh shit! Look at this. We got, we got, we got. What is this? Ox, and we got Nina, and we got some. I'm guessing this Deus, and we got. Uh, oh shit! It's a, it's a dog from that one game, the first game. And there's Ryu. Oh, I think these are all the first char the Breath of Fire one characters on this mur uh, mural. And then we get Miria. Oh, I didn't. Well, I've seen this mirror a bunch of times, but since I didn't finish uh, Breath of Fire 1 or 2, I was just like, whatever. But, oh man, that's cool. Come. Welcome, Ryu. I am the Elder Jono. Don't let my looks fool you. I'm a nice guy. Come here, my son. My son. Did you see the mirror as you came in? That is the history of our people's struggle. Our people's history stretches back to the distant past, before even the Great War. It is the history of the struggle against a great recurrent evil. Then we get the title screen motif. With these aids, a warrior appears among the brood with his allies and carries on the struggle. What was the name of the, the dog with the bow? I think it was. Yeah, there it is. Bow. Bow nose arrows. He had like a weird name in the in the re uh rescripting. I guess the evil that appears in the model sometimes is a God damn it game! Miria. The god of the Urkins, the god you're seeking. Of course, it seems. The Urkins never refer to their god or their enemy the brood by name. Speaking of the Urkins, 
We want to talk to your friend, the Guardian. Bring him here. Guardian, I have to hand it to you again, Santanaria. When you decided to get rid of her, you didn't hold back at all, did you? But you must realize, one truth, as long as you refuse to speak your god's name or the name of your enemy, no one will ever know what became of us or why. Oh, honorable elder one. Oh, wait, this is dark, sorry. Oh, honorable elder one. Do you hate us? Hey. There are mates, maybe some among us who do, but I do not, Guardian. One cannot allow himself to be blinded by hatred or spill blood for a petty reason. What happened between the Urgen and the Bruin was fate. Fate? Honorable Elder One? What do you mean, Honorable Elder One? Please tell me. Stop calling me Elder One. You're every bit as old as I am. I've had enough talking to you. From now on, the only thing I want is to see a pretty girl. Understand? I made up my mind. I'm only going to talk to the woman. Well, well, gotta go get a pretty woman out here, I guess. Temperamental, jeez. Stop reminding me of my age, guard, you, you old dragon. I think the worst part of like them being guardians is that they look like the dragons that they're killing. Some weird sort of irony. Can I, can I leave? So this is the easiest way to do that? Okay, yeah, so this is the way to get on over. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we didn't go to the desert because we were over here in Colony and then we went back and we came over and there's the, there's the, there's the thing. Alright, so you want to talk to a girl, a pretty girl. But it's prettier than Nina because she's like a princess or some shit. Here we go. Plus, Nia's always in our in our court. He's such a good dragon. He's not a bad dragon. Not yet, anyway. Maybe a bad dragon should have like a Breath of Fire collab, you know? Then he would be a bad dragon. I only want to talk about to remind me of baby mama. <laughs> better. Now listen up, little lady. I'm going to tell you about the fate of the brood and the goddess Maria. I'm listening, Grandpa. It's more like it. Good girl. Now listen close. Brood and Maria have always fought down through the ages and all across the world. Is it because she was trying to destroy the world and the brood were trying to protect it? Not exactly that simple, child. Think about it. That would mean the world wouldn't be here after we lost the Great World, now would it? Besides, the real danger to the world might be us brood. Our power is such that we could destroy the world and the goddess Miria feared fear that shrimp. And it decided to destroy us. But, so, does that mean we use an evil dragon? No, no, child. Don't get ahead of yourself. We lost the war because we didn't use our power. If we had fought back with all our power, we might have destroyed the world. So, you mean, the proof were concerned with the fate of the world? They're not evil? Nina, you already knew that, though. Well, that's not exactly right, either. I want to tell you something important, so I want you to. Come up to next thing you hear. Will you do that? Like this? That's it. Now kneel down. And give me a kiss. What? Me, you? What should I do? Why do you ask me? Right? Do whatever you want. 
Uh, why do you ask me? I guess, I, I, I guess that she's asking me for like, maybe, because it's not like we're dating? But like, maybe she's asking me because we've been together for so long and I'm part of room, room two. You know what? Right, okay. <laughs> well, I got my kiss, so now I have no regrets. I agree to what I must. Will you come here? Well, the person got a pedestal at a time, I guess. You, you may have guessed this, but I must now face my end. And you, your fate. Are you ready for what comes next? Uh, I mean, as we take a girl here, and then, uh, so yeah, I guess. Uh, yes, yes, we can do this. I believe in, believe in us. Rude, we have waited, waited to bequeath the true power of the to what we knew one day come. That's why we gave up our power. We came to this lonely, barren place to hide the power from the brain, prying eyes of the goddess. To fool Miria into thinking she had succeeded in eradicating the brood. I don't know what our ruse were. But we have guarded the essence of the moon all these years. Here, in me. I'm ready now to give you that power. Be you, blood of my blood. You must take the power from me, but. In order to guard against discovery by the goddess, we place special magic boards around this room. In other words, you will be unable to use your brood powers. I would use the true power of the brood. But you, you, you must depend only on yourself to defeat me. Wow. Brood? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now we get Don Don instead. Dun, da, 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 da. Facing our destiny Members of the brood who gave up their power to us, make it strong. Very good, Ryu. Now prove yourself to me. Very well, Ryu. I will bequeath to you the power, the true power of the brood. I'm here. I will give unto you the very essence of the brood. The power that can shake the very foundations of the world. The power of infinity. With this power, the world is in your hands. This is the power of which God is rightly fears. It is in your hands now. Yours and your friends. Always the warrior of the brood has fought with his allies and his friends, and together they have defeated the goddess. But you needn't follow that path. You so choose. The power is yours for you. Do with it what you will. 
Awakening his latent power. Power of Dragon Pippin. <laughs> Why did everyone disappear? No. Funny you just probably. That or Breath of Fire. Uh, it looks like you have discovered the power of infinity. Very well then. I will tell you where you can find the goddess. You must leave here and travel far to the north, to the desert of death. I don't know why I saw that. Of course, they will tell you more. So, before we leave, we should talk to that man, Horus, right? That's right, Horus will guide you. We have all waited for this day. For the day our savior will come and avenge us. No luck for you. We have placed our trust in you. Talk to this guy. Get ready to leave then. Go with you as far as the desert. Uh, yeah, let's go. If that's the case then. Take this Rakta with you. Let's go to the camp and see what our, our uh, party members have to say about this current situation. The desert continues endlessly to the north. No matter how far you go, you won't see any signs of life. The brutes say that the goddess Miria lives beyond the desert. Move. I don't know who's right or what evil is. All I know is I believe in you, Ryu. So the brood and god have always been fighting. Is it destiny? The fact that there's a portal here means that this village has been here since the techno age. So the brood must have come here around the time of the wars. No shit, that's what they said. Momo, can you listen? There may have been some brood who hated the Urkins and came seeking revenge. Boom, boom, boom. I might be able to finish this thing. Because after you get past the desert, it's uh, Miria's place. Uh, Mary's dungeon, and then that's it. That's the end of Breath of Fire 3. It's not that, um. It's a great game. So, this this is a pain in the butt. The, the deep desert. Anyone can come this far. Now comes the hard part the desert of death. A land of ever changing sands, where nothing lives and which nothing returns. That's what everybody said about crossing the ocean. You get the feeling that God wants to be left alone. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know anything about that. But I do know the goddess lives beyond the desert. You must cross the desert. I'll tell you how to survive long enough to get there. Ask me anything. All right, so. No, oh, I guess I can make a heart safe here too. Get the book. Get the book. What do you want to do? <clears throat> so this place is annoying. But there's some like, uh, I think there's some things here that you have to do. I think it'd probably be easy for me to check the online too. Let me close this thing out. Uh, Desert Death. <clears throat> and one piece. Alright. Travel towards Mosa for two full nights. On the third night, turn east with even a star directly behind you. Alright, so that's that seems to be pretty easy. North star, two nights. Um. Yeah, let me make sure. North star for two nights. T turn east. Um. Turn back north. Okay, so that's that's pretty easy. Uh, Artemis camp. Oh, this is the factory. I don't. I don't need that. Crossing desert. Mm.
All right, I'm looking this up real quick because you'll see how this is going to be very annoying soon. Um, so I want to not take forever in this stupid desert. Uh, uh, Breath of Fire 4 also has like a, a moment like this as well where you kind of do the same thing, but it's on a plane instead of a desert. Travel night, the heat is excessive. I have doing a day walk at night. Uh, bring some water. Okay. Couple of shortcuts. Um, make sure you get the water jar next to the tent. Uh, leave the camp, begin the crossing of the desert. Blah, 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 blah. Then you have to face enemies you meet. Mm. Signal and maybe this. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. Here we go, guys. Oh yeah, it's it's. I can see that. Okay, breath of fire, desert. Let me write this down somewhere. Here's sticky. Travel towards the North Star for two nights. Copy. And peace. Alright. If I close this out. Alright. So, we gotta talk to him. Uh, I think this is the water I'm supposed to take. Get water. Fixing serves of water. Okay. What do you want to know? Walking in the desert, which is like what we have to do. In order to get past here, very important, listen carefully. Directions. You can find your way in a desert by looking at the stars. This is the North Star. Always appears in the north and never moves. If you follow it, you're headed due north. This is one of the false North Stars. It sometimes it appears at different heights depending on the day. It could fool you. Be careful not to mix up with the real North Star. And this one is the evening star. It always appears in the west, but not always at the same height and in the same place. If you're in the center of the desert, it'll be due west. If you lose track of where you are in the desert, you're done for. Make sure you keep your eyes on the stars. One thing you need to be careful about is after breaking camp or battle, make sure you check what direction you're facing. If you forget, you could end up in a lot of trouble. Anything else you want to know? Get in trouble, come back anytime. Yeah. Can I can I rest here or I think we took a lot of damage last time. Um. Persons. I want names. Wait a second. Okay. Let's get get on hunter here. All right, so we got. Are you leaving already? Yes. You should wait for night and leave there. Good luck. I don't know, it looked like it was fake because there's nothing there anymore. It was there to trick us guys? What the hell? That's fine. Yeah, I was tricking. See how it's not there anymore? If we follow True North, it was a trick. It was a trap. It should be around here, shouldn't it? 
Should be around here, shouldn't it? Oh, that doesn't look dangerous at all. I wonder what's, I wonder what's behind this... This, uh, hill of sand. Maybe we can see better from the top of that hill, huh? Not guys into it. Man mo, it's a man mo. Man mo, man mo, man mo, man mo. We're gonna, we're gonna risk it. Let's take a chance to go where we land with mo mo. Right here, she can take it for us. I like the feeling that makes me feel this way. And we can beat everyone. Focus and aura. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> How is this big ass mammoth looking bitch? Faster than Ray. So getting folk uh getting the horse gem is uh it's pretty nice. Cause aura is broken. <laughs> the heat must have been too much for her. Who can blame her? Having to fight that monster walking for so many days? Sorry, you. We're so close. We won't be able to go any further with her in next edition. What should we do with you? Oh, 
Sorry, I don't want to slow you down like this. Such a princess, Nina. Huh? He looks worried. We can't move Nina while she's in such a bad condition. Is Nina okay? I'm not exactly in great shape myself either, but... How bad is she, the princess? Alright. And we were so close, too. I suppose... We could just use Ragda and start over. I mean, we know the right way by now, right? It ain't her fault. Maybe we're just not supposed to make it. I won't be able to move until you take care of Nina. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to take care of Nina? So, fighting the monster, it does mean that you're on the right path, so don't, don't let the game fool you. Rack does. Strong, sturdy, and able to live in the desert. We can take anyone lost back to base camp. But Rack does have another talent as well. I believe you're supposed to kill the Rakta. Yeah. The meat of a Rakta has water and other nutrients. That the rest of the person suffering from heat stroke. Got the Rakta meat. So yeah. Poor Rakta. All it did was try to be a good boy, be the goodest boy, and I got murked for it by Ryu. Even if Brew did deserve it, who knows? Maybe Miria did nothing wrong after all. Alright. So you killed the Rakta, huh? I won't be able to get back now. I'm impressed with you. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, hurry up and get that meat to the princess. We have all these cacti here, we can just like squeeze some juice from them. Don't worry, we'll make it. We're not gonna die in a place like this. As long as you're around, at least. Can I just transfer myself into like a uh, water dragon and. I don't know, piston her mouth or something? Who, who? Why do we have to kill the freaking thing? With the sacrifice of Rekka's life, we were able to save Nina's. Helping the weekend, Nina. The party makes their way to the oasis. You can't be trusted with another animal around here. Daddy, come quick. There's some people who need help. Yeah, calm. Your lady friend is caring for by is caring for by my wife. Please. Until you are being fully rested. We want you to stay in having our good hospitality. Are you sure you should be up? It's alright, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I worried everyone so much. What's Ryu and everyone else doing? They're over there. Talk to the chiefs, Sarah, Ba, about where we headed. I am regrettable, but I know not of this that you see. Honorable Pa, do you know of any ruins or something similar nearby? Ruins it is, you are. You're looking for than we are having. In the north, over the hill, there is a being place very old that we are calling Kairazan. It is the ruins of very, very old in city. We should go check it out. Done so much for us. Thank you for everything. It's all right. Since the desert gives us so little, we share what we have with each other. Nina's up and wait. She says she's fine. 
so this is meaning you are leaving then, yes? Thank you so much for all you've done for us, Pa. It is being no bother. I am hoping that you find soon what you are seeking. We choose to be party members. Please be choosing to be party members. Uh, Maybe finding what you are looking for. Attention, lift from Miriam Station, now at Platform 1. A orbital station. Wait a second. Is this like a... Is this like an airport? Miria? Miria. I keep hearing that name. Is that supposed to be God? I guess we'll find out soon enough, huh? It's like a futuristic, uh... Aer airport? We're about to be playing, pulling up there, aren't we? If this is an orbital station, there's no way that they have, like, a... Elevator built up there. Attention! Live from there yet now? Leaving Platform 1. An ancient Karazhan, the long-abandoned home of the gods. Neo and his companions were the huge machine, which is unlike anything they've ever seen before. I'm actually just realizing that her, uh, the machine carries them high into the sky to a place that shares the name of a god. I'm just realizing that Miria's domain is in the sky. Like, right now. <laughs> I don't know why. For some reason I always thought it was like some, uh, last stop Oler Station Miria arrivals platform. I don't know why. For some reason, I was thinking it was further inland or underground for some reason. And I completely forgot that they do take this big ass elevator up into the sky for that. Mm. It being an orbital station is kind of like. I don't know. Weird? There's a fireplace for a breaker check. Breaker, breaker one? Is this just for an item? Because I don't. I'm about to. I'm, I'm like, no, I don't. I really don't care about the item that much. Like that. I think the towards the end, they just kind of threw everything together at you, and I have no idea why. It feels just like. It feels like padding. It slows down the story a lot because you're in here for a good amount of time just to put the uh, encounters and everything. Monster is asleep on the other side of the glass. So let's uh, let's go let's visit it. It'd be a shame to wake it. Uh, let's leave it alone. Why don't we go up to the window though? Um, there's a card in there. I wonder if it's not one of the cards we need. Doesn't that just beat all? 
Better go get it, or... Well, we've got no choice, right? First, we have to figure out how to stop that gas. Burning sleeping glass. Whoa, it was a snake chimera. Doesn't look like it's asleep anymore. It's asleep, maybe the guys are still working? We, get, we should be able to get the car without waking it. Or maybe not. Dun 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 dun. Keep looking card, it says speed card B, doesn't look very impressive before now. None of this just beat all. All that worked for this. And nothing, nothing bad. Nothing bad happens here. It's so peaceful and beautiful and gorgeous. Wow! Looks like we're outside, but it's just another room. Oh my god, why is it so peaceful and beautiful? Why? Why? 
Maybe not be though so bad after all. Maybe. It might just be alright after all. Alright, I guess. Guess what? Ah. 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 No, I don't want to face the truth. Can't make the game. You already been trying to make me see the truth. I don't want to. They're inside a room, and when they try to fly, they only end up hurting themselves. You understand, Ryu? I suppose I should have known you'd come here eventually. You are a brood, after all. Who? Tifo? Is it really you, Tifo? It's me, Ray. Tifo, you're alive! I... I thought... Be silent. I must talk with Ryu. Welcome, Ryu. Unfortunately, your journey ends here. I can answer all of your questions. And explain why our race had to be destroyed. Soon after we were separated so many years ago, I learned that I too was of the brood. Mm. Ray, who are you? What? Why? Why did they do this to us? Ray, who are you? Huh? What's happened to me? My body is. I'm no different from you, Ryu. Not since then. Much blood has been shed to reach this point. The blood of strangers. Your own blood. Blood of both the good and the bad. Nothing but hardship awaits us wherever we go. Violence, pain, blood. That is the brood. That is what we are. Pose too great a danger to the world. Our power, our very existence threatens it. We cause war and chaos wherever we go. So, Mr. Tivo, the goddess put it in your head to wait here? Wait here to kill Ryu, huh? No. She would never harm anyone, nor allow anyone to be harmed. She simply fears. Here's for the world should power of the group be, be left under control. For you, we're different from them. We can't be with them. That's why you need to stay here with me. With me and the goddess Miria. You still don't understand, do you? That's all right. Take your time. Look deep within yourself. So 
here we kind of get a choice. Uh, and uh, there's like two two endings here. What do you think, Liu? This is your mind, your heart, given shape. Here, you can enter not only your own heart, but those your so-called friends as well. And then you'll learn that I, that Holy Maria is right. Go now, Liu. That was like so right. Whenever I decided to do something, my mother would always ask me, Is that what the Princess of Windia should do? I would always answer yes. When I left the castle with Ryu and my other friends, for the first time it was my mother's daughter, or the Princess of Windia. I would say it could just be Nina. You're just being selfish, you know. I thought it was very important that we learn about you and the brood. I don't know anymore. Maybe I left the castle because I was tired of being controlled by my mother. You must go back. There's nothing for you here. The power of the brood. Look at me. I have a power I was so frightened of, I swore never to use it. But compared to the power of the brood, my power is insignificant. Doesn't that just beat all? How can anyone handle that kind of power? If it were me, I know what I would do with it. No, I know better. I wouldn't be able to handle that kind of power responsibly. That's no good. Or weight puzzles and puzzles and puzzles and puzzles and puzzles and more puzzles and I'm just like, okay. I don't want to end it because most of the time when I do, it's like, oh yeah, I only have 30 minutes left because it was after this bullshit, and it was like, yeah, we're done. But I really feel like they should have spread some of the stuff out earlier in the game. My father used to tell me lots of uh, master stories about techno age. It was his live stream to learn all he could about that time and all the machines that were built then. Father, I'm almost there, it's right in front of me. The brood, God, I don't know anything about them. The pain of the world is too big for me. All I know is, by getting closer to God and getting closer to that age, the age of machines. And it's still been like a very, well, it is a very minimal journey even now, so. I believe that by hunting the brood, by obeying God, I was saving the world. But now I wonder, was I? They hadn't want, if they had wanted to, the brood could have stopped us anytime. What should I have done? Design document looks for this place. I've been watching you for a long time, Ryu. You need to do what you, and only you, think is right. The power of the brood is something to be respected and feared. But it's not enough to save or destroy the world. Have you come to a decision? You wanted a brood. You can't afford to think only of yourself, like the others, right? Think of what you could do with your power. Think of your people, those who gave you this power. If we have the power to change the world. You have to take responsibility for the world, don't you? There's only one person who can take that kind of responsibility. The goddess Miria. Rise. Rise and give yourself to the goddess. Become one with the world. Who are you? Alright, now we got through all that. Well, well, well. Uh, count your, you count Yggdrasil among your companions. That's a surprise, still. 
You understand, don't you, Ryu? We share the same blood. I know you. You must understand. How are the others? They're weak and frail. They only think of themselves. What if our power were to be used by them for their small, selfish ends? We can only entrust our power to someone who understands. Someone who sees the things of the world as a whole. Someone like Miriam, you. If that's your choice, then, if you won't listen to me, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Sorry, you. But I have no choice but to leave you here in the stream. You know what? I'm gonna choose this too. Not the end though. Oh god. So are you, you come back. I'm not doing like we did the last time and it's like, oh it's only an hour left and now I gotta do everything else. No. Why did you fight it? All that would have happened is that you would have lost. Or we wouldn't have had to die. If you won't give up your power, if you won't submit to the wisdom of Miriam, then I have no choice. No choice but to kill you. Oh yeah, we found Tifo and it's uh, pretty sad, honestly, that we have to we had to come this far. I know I was bitching a lot, and I can I, but I couldn't talk about it because I'm just like I gotta figure out the same puzzle and. Do all through go through all this, so yeah. Um, but but yeah, it's it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad situation. We finally see Tifo, and we find out he's alive, but he's been here the entire time under Amiria's brainwashing, and it ends in this way. A friend. That's one of the reasons where we started this long journey to begin with. Ends here. So yeah. We put Ray in because he, he deserves. Definitely deserves a spot. Uh. Echo, maybe? I don't know what's fine. Back formation. I don't know.
trying to cheat it. There's a victory music because it wasn't a victory for anybody. Yeah. Are you? Here he is, right. Look at us. Ooh, all we know how to do is fight and kill each other like this, but... I didn't ask to be blue. I didn't ask, but... For the power, for this power, I just want it to be with you, right? And you, you, my family. <laughs> Does this just beat all?
You're an amazing machine. Do you know that, honey? Attention. Navigate a code for highest level functions accepted. Access the library mode for Laundry. Open jump. We're at the end, finally. Welcome, we serve the Almighty Goddess. Before you meet with the Holy Miria, please hear our words. After these messages, we'll be right back. Long stream, please. Holy Mary, it wakes your head. Before the coming of Mary, the world was dying. The wounded earth was being covered by sand, and the very life was being sucked out of its inhabitants. The grieving Miria used all her divine power to divide the world into two halves. One half being where you are now, the desert of death, and the other. The world you came from, overflowing with life. Alright. The two worlds are separated by the vast and violent ocean you call the Outer Sea. Which protects your world from the desert? The majority of the life that escaped death was taken like yourselves to the other world. Mirius is I have to protect life, to protect your world. Even a monster's life is sacred to Miria. In order to protect the life she so loved, Mirria instituted many forms of safeguards and patrols. Foremost among these was the control of technology. Mirror makes certain that no dangerous machines, like weapons, are developed. Mirror allows the use and repairs of only existing machines, and keeps the study of machines from leading to potentially destructive ends. The second control is achieved through the energy of Crystal Moore. Crystal Moore is a fossilized remains of living beings. That's needed by the blessed power of the divine Myria. You see, Crystal Moore is no more than one of the ways Myria fortifies the world with her magical energy.
ਹੋਏਗੀ ਨੀਨਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਗਾਰਡੀਅਨ ਕਾਰ ਇਨ ਯੂ ਮਾਈ ਬ੍ਰੇਵ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਹੂ ਹੈਵ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਦਾ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਟ ਓਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਬਰਨਿੰਗ ਡੈਜ਼ਰਟ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਮਰੀਆ ਓ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਈ ਗਾਰਡਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਜਰਨੀ ਫਾਰ ਸੀਕਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਮਾਈਟ ਨੋ ਦਾ ਟਰੂਥ Oh God, it's tell us. Why did the brood have to be destroyed? Is there anyone who wishes the destruction of life? I certainly do not, however. The power of the brood was too great. Too great for my small, small world. As you know, the side of the world is almost entirely buried by sand. Making it almost impossible for anything to survive life has been driven nearly to extinction i have to preserve what little is left i had to save the rest of the world from the danger called the food. So, what you're saying is, we should just sit back and let you take care of us. Like we were your babies or something, right? Exactly, Ray. If I did not hold it back using the outer sea as a shield, the desert would slowly and inevitably spread across the entire world. If I did not continue to create the machines that are repaired and used worldwide, Civilization as we know it will surely perish. But while we don't have the means now, someday we might be able to build our own machines. If the world were covered by sand, your lives would be consumed with the struggle to survive. You would not be able to build anything. Even if you succeeded in creating the machines you needed, Can you say with certainty that you would not also build a weapon with which you might also destroy yourselves, Momo? In the past, this world was large, larger than you can imagine. Many people want to live here in Tar- in Sarazan. But the people fought and quarreled, and the city was swallowed by the desert. I was unable to protect them. <sighs> I will not make the same mistake again. I will protect you and all the life that is left. I understand what you're trying to say. We are weak and maybe we do need help and protection. And the power of the brood may be similar to the power that destroyed the city so long ago. But what are you saying we should do? Are you saying that we must die? Or that he has to spend the rest of his life locked up in some little room in an artificial world like Tebo? No kidding. I don't like the fact that this is all being controlled by you. That you're pulling all the strings. I'm just like a little kid, see? If you tell me it sits still, it just makes me want to run around more, yeah? Oh, goddess. We have no desire to give Rhea up. up to you nor do we wish to see him killed having traveled with him i can say that i do not believe that the power of the brood is as fearsome and dangerous as you claim it to be i'm shocked that nearly the entire world is covered by sand but with the reuse with our power working together then maybe just maybe Enough, my children. I admire your bravery and courage. Ray. There is no need to worry. I will erase your memories of this place and simply return you to where you belong, Momo. My strength is admittedly small, but it's all you have to live with. You understand, Nina? Hmm. 
Thank you for bringing me you here, Guardian Gar. Your mission is now complete. Dang, they were Thanos out of existence. <clears throat> what about me, Miria? You didn't call my name. Don't you know who I am? You, you're ain't just so. You won't be able to get away with this. Not while I'm around. All I'm doing is leaving my children by the hand. Giving them a world they can live in. Miria. These so-called children crossed the entire world to get here and overcame the myriad barriers that you set before them. All for the sake of helping their friend. Find his Ryu, find his destiny. Ryu. Very well. We will let Ryu decide. What do you want to do? Alright, so we got two two endings here. I'm gonna do both. Just for the sake of uh, completion, I guess. If you give up your power, the world will continue to live under my protection, as it has until now. The power which I brought you here is too big for the world. The other rude ones do. Accept your fate, my Ryu. Alright. Ricky Ryu. Yeah. You have to believe in yourself, and in those who believe in you, too. Mira waits with her eyes closed for Ryu's decision, but Ryu cannot make up his mind. Not without asking his friends first. To tell the truth, I'm really frightened. We're not strong at all. If you go against fate, something awful might happen to the world, but... I've always believed you weren't a bad dragon. I'll always believe that, no matter what happens. It's because of all that nonsense she's going on about that Tifo ended the way ended up the way he did. He messed with my brother. That's the one thing I can't forgive. I only know how to fix machines, you know. But we can dig up those machines, even if they're buried in their desert and learn from them. Even if the world is covered in sand, we still be able to do something. As long as we don't give up. Right? Huh. I brought you here simply because I wanted to know the truth about my own actions. It may have been a selfish reason, but I've learned one thing from all this. Now, more than Miria, I trust you, Miria. No. My friends. You know, in the original game, because there's no save here, you can't save and go back, you, uh, you have to do all this from your last save point, so all of this will have to be done. Do you love when games do this? Personally, I'm gonna give you two and you want to see both endings, right? I'm gonna give you all this, and you have to pick one, and if you pick the bad end, uh, you have to see all this cutscene over again, um, go through all the battles that you might have gotten to get here um, again, and yeah, go through all the cutscenes about Mirror telling her some history. With the uh, stuff going. I'm, I'm fast forwarding, but uh, the original one is the slowest crap. My Ryu. Accept your fate. My Ryu. A decision on which the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Give up the power of the brood and live in a peaceful world. Watched over by the goddess of belief and power. Of the brood and travel into the empty desert. Where unknown dangers await. Ryu decides to give up his power. So this is the bad end. Carrying the fate of the world is too much for you. If giving up the power of the brood will allow the world to stay the same, then that's the best choice. You have made the right choice. Ryu, yeah, that is your true strength. Giving up your horrible power to protect the world, I'm proud of you, Ryu. Let us go, my Ryu. Now, the shitty part about this is that we chose to stay after we killed Tifo. So, 
free choose of his own free will to give up the power of the moon and stay with Goddess Maria. So now we don't we're just here alone. Like Tipu Tipu was all that time. So time passes. Unchanging. But yeah. And that's the bad ending. So we stay there and basically after killing Tipo, we're just there by ourselves until I guess we die at old age or something. I don't know. Um, which I thought was kind of bittersweet. Maybe it's just bitter. He's gonna choose his own path this time. Mm. Anyway, it's right. It's okay. Uh, then he realized he couldn't give up his power. Of course, he thought of his people, his destiny, and Tipo. But more importantly, he felt that if he gave up his power, he would no longer be himself. Do you realize what it is you are trying to do? Do you? By making me your enemy, you realize you're making the whole world your enemy, don't you? The faith that you. That the brood are not so foolish. Um, where are you walking? We realized it was foolish to challenge a god, but he held his ground. My poor Liu. Your great power is driven you mad. What of those who do not have such power like the brood? They cannot live without my protection. By not giving up your power, Threaten their very existence. Just as I always believed, the brood truly are a danger, a threat to the world. Not true, Miria. It just means that life is no longer content to live in the little cage you've made for it. Make yourself, no matter what you say, I will protect this world for the sake of all life on it. Miria, life in your world has been protected from the desert and death, but that's not the same as living. Ryu, son of the accursed brood, time for talk has ended. You will not change your mind. It grieves me to harm you, but I have no choice. For the good of the world, you must die. I want to say Gar, Peko, and Ryu, since they, uh, since technically they're the ones who are, uh, have the most say in this stuff. They're also the slowest, so <laughs> let's see. We'll see how this works out. Again, because this is, a uh, <laughs> you don't have a say between this, you have to go through all that again and again to get to this point. We're gonna try this because I feel like this is systematically better. Interesting. It grieves me, my children, that I must take up arms against you, against the very life I have sworn to protect. You must understand, Ryu, I can't let you, your power roam free in the world. To protect the lives of my other children, I must be coming to fury. Farewell, my children. Oh no, so the ad's gonna start. <laughs> but you'll get to see this before, before that time. And then it's just a battle.
Okay. Controls technology transfer and tries to prevent life from destroying itself by ensuring they don't receive weapons. Right. Everyone, there's technology mode, Shadow Junk Tower, Kalanat, Machine Beach. There are us. Yeah, yeah, and they, they're the ones that attack us. Yep. Yeah, I was kind of confused when she said that because I was like, uh. Mira, are you okay? <laughs> Realize every single our bots completely discards her entire position. It does. Yeah, when she said that, I was kind of like, uh, I was like, but there are weapons already on the main continent, so. But I, I don't feel like she's trustworthy anyway. I mean, she has some okay positions, but for the most part. Also on a black ship. Oh. Yeah, then. I don't know if her position is just kind of. Well, her position is, is already kind of garbage. But, like. I have no clue. Maybe she is kind of distant from her. And she also talks about, like, having. Having enough power to, like, separate the desert from the living parts of the other continent. But I'm like, if she takes Ryu's power, what, what does she do with it? If she's so afraid of the power that Ryu and stuff has, if she has the ability to take the power away, what does she do with that immense power? What does she do with Tipo's immense power? It doesn't seem like she's doing anything with it. Yeah, I know. That's why I was just like, I was like, something may add it up. <laughs> like, did she take Tifo's power? Because Tifo even said the same thing. I'm gonna, uh, you wouldn't have to die. Your power is just going to be taken away. And it's just like, but Tifo, you turn into a dragon. You say, I'm going to have to kill you now because you didn't, I didn't follow what you were saying. And now it's like, okay, I'm confused. Just put some of the cage I can break out anytime. Like, so all her stance is just bullshit to sound like. Oh, like the like the war was pretty much them being good enough not to not to fight back.
Mirror Seda, she can remove, she can't remove T Pose. She can't remove power T Pose and have left at any point. Because she's stronger than anybody else in the station center. So, Louis Valley says different can be trusted. It'll have to be trusted for a fighting work. Yeah, I, I feel like she was just manipulating um, all the Guardians. She was manipulating. I don't think they were manipulating the route because uh, in Dragon Mirror, they're just kind of like, yeah, we already know Mary is bullshit. <laughs> That's why you want her, you to get rid of her. But, um,. Everybody else is pretty much kind of like the uh, Irkin. They've been lied to and manipulated the entire time. <laughs> Did they get manipulated early on? Was there too kind? Actually. Because you know, Doomface, you can have wiped out the Guardians easily. Because even though the old last man, he's the last boss fight. Yeah, he is. The group could have just fought back in a very limited way, but having one or two warriors, but he didn't make those there. Yeah. Up until now, at least. And then they're just pretty much like, nah, we're not. Tired of this shit. I didn't believe the idea they can throw us the world. Huh? Yeah, I can understand that. Figured, you know. I just realized when I go in there that the, the mural, the yeah, the mural that was there was of uh, Breath of Fire One. I was like, oh, I've actually looked at everyone. I was like, oh, you can actually tell each of the characters are who they're supposed to be. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like, wow, I realized that because I played through the first one. There's no auxiliary magic being past it, Maria. Stop doing that. is always pretty creepy. The face literally melts off for this laser view attack.
she's just kind of dumb. Yeah, I think she's just manipulative. I can't even say she means well because she clearly can see from her high tower here that uh, the brood hasn't done anything. They've went into their own little hidey hole of hiding. Uh, that Uyu has been pretty decent the entire time, and she still is kind of like on this, on whatever copium she's on. Is that insane after this boss fight? And there's a guy who could have done better, she's an act. She's an enemy who couldn't who is she manipulating. Well, if we assume this is the same area from the other games, uh, at this time, like, the one that who should be locked up in a cage is her because she has all this power and she's not responsible with it. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't say evil. I said she can't be trusted with her power. She can't be responsible with her power because this is, th this is the third game she's been in where she's caused problems because she wants to lock somebody else. She can realize that she needs to lock somebody else because their power is too much and might destroy the world. And yet, she's a hypocrite because she's doing the same thing. So somebody needs to lock her up because for three games she's been doing the same stuff. And being an idiot or being dumb is only an explanation for so long. <laughs> With all of two game on the waste my fucking stuff with this bullshit. Yeah, motherfucking seal. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oops, wrong character. It's over. No. For you, it's just the beginning. It was a long, hard journey. But we did the right thing. thing. Blech. We did the right thing, didn't we, Ryu? Gar? As a guardian, my life must end here with the goddesses. I'm to die. Go. From now on, you must walk on your own. My world. I tried, but it wasn't enough. I fear the world will be destroyed again. What could I have done? What could I have done? If there is a god, answer me. What should I have done with the brood? Esther? <laughs> it's for the best, Miria. Be protected. This world until now. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Who she also didn't listen to, so. <laughs> you went too far in your attempt to wipe out the moon. In the end, that was something your children had to overcome to go beyond. In order to walk on their own, 
so did so did Miria. Sometimes it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy. I can pat upon. Don't worry. They can take care of themselves better than you think. They and the world are stronger than we think. I'm sure of it. Bread of fire. Yeah, we didn't get that delicious, delicious bread from Windia at the end here. Also, hello, Nathaniel. Welcome to the end of the stream. And then we finally get our accurate sprites. Super high death sprites of you. years since the Brute War, even in, in 3. I also love here again, one of my favorite songs. And during that time again, it's like that she knew that the Brute didn't fight back. She knew that Tifo came willingly, just like if you get the bad ending, Ryu comes willing willingly. She's watching over him. Uh, uh, and even with Juno, who has the power of affinity, he's just there, waiting for Ryu. That, that's it. Uh, even if they're hidden, I'm sure, like, their proximity towards Miria, I'm sure she probably knew of him. But, like... Like, at what point was some common sense that kick in and say, hmm, maybe I should do something else. Maybe I we shouldn't. It's been, what, 400 years at that time? Maybe I shouldn't be so stubborn in this one. Uh, like, I don't think she's evil, but I do think that at some point she didn't question herself. So, she came in a predictable that she was. Imagine Saw with Infinity. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I get it, but in the context of even Breath of Fire 3, if we st stuck with Breath of Fire 3, between Gar fighting the last war and like all that era of whatever, she could have just stepped back for a minute. Whatever we want, I have power to do it. Yeah. I 
Oh well, no, I don't think I questioned Miria until the end of the game where she was just kind of like... Uh... But even with that... I can't even say with that, because Dragonair, yeah, there might have been some bitter feelings, but for the most part, I don't think everybody was bitter about it. And even when you talk to Juno with Gar, Juno's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. To the past. Whatever, dude. And then... And... Then they're just like, well, here you go. But... Even with that, like I said, it's been hundreds of years. It's been centuries at this point. And Miria is still, like, hunting... <laughs> hunting the breed. Rather than the their essence. Yeah, they keep rising up against her. There's Pekko, just in case you guys are wondering what happened to Pekko. Or Yggdrasil, actually. The reason I say that's what it's rude. Because Dark Druid can release her from her cell. Oh well, yeah, but the Dark Druid don't exist anymore. Alright, well we did the bad ending where Ryu was captured and nothing changed. <laughs> I enjoyed this, but of course it did. The end of the game is a little tedious. Uh, because I think they had a lot of ambition that they tried to put into it and did not uh, did not spread it out properly, unfortunately. So we get like a lot at the end in terms of like gameplay and mechanics and puzzles and stuff like that. That I, I that would have probably been paced a little better had they put some more stuff towards the beginning and spread the story out a little bit more. But uh, story wise, I, I liked it. It's always a great game for its uh, characterization, for its character development, and you know, for the battle system, it's always fun. The music is great, and still one of my favorite Breath of Fires. Um, closely followed up by four. So yeah, thank you for watching. No problem. But it's Luna, and I am popping off. Bye.